Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 1970, last day where you can still cross. First, we'll see the explanation of the problem statement, then logic on the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So in this problem, we have a binary matrix and we are given row and column of the binary matrix and the cells 2D array represents the cells of the binary matrix, right? So they are given one based array system so the first row represents the zeroth row, right? And the first column represents the zeroth column. So that we need to consider here. And the indices of the cells represents the days. So the goal of the problem is to, we can start from any top cell. We can start from this one or this one. So in this problem, we need to find the last day that we can reach any bottom cell. So we need to start from any top cell, but we need to reach the bottom cell. The bottom cell can be any cell as well. And so we need to return the last day where I can reach any bottom cell. So we are going to use binary search to pick which day will be the last day. Along with the binary search, we will use a breadth first search. So inside the BFS, we are going to check whether we can reach any bottom cell from the picked day using the binary search. So basically we are going to pick a day and we are going to check whether we can reach any bottom cell in the BFS. Right? So now we will see how we are going to do this. So here the left pointer will be pointing to the first day and the R pointer will be pointing to the last day that is 4. So here we have 4 days in the cells. So our pointer will be pointing to 4. So now we need to find the middle day. So we need to add left and right pointers. So 1 plus 4 is going to be 5. And we need to do the integer division by 2. Here we are going to get 2. So now we are going to check whether 2 is my last day or not. That is on day 2 whether I can reach any bottom cells or not. Right, so we are going to send middle value to the BFS function. So the reason why we are using binary search is that it is more efficient than order of n algorithm, right? Since we know the days are in order, it is more efficient to use binary search, which is log n, right? So in the BFS function, we are going to create a binary matrix. So first we are going to represent all the cells as zero at the start. So we know the rows and columns are two. So we have two rows and two columns, right? Also in the binary matrix, zero represents land and one represents water. Another interesting aspect of the problem is that on the eighth day, we will block the land with water. That is, we will chain the cells with one. So what we are going to do is that even after blocking on the eighth day, whether we can still reach the bottom row or not. So I will show you guys here. So we know we have considered the middle value as 2. So we are going to check whether we can reach bottom row on the day 2 or not. So initially, we are going to block all the cells till the middle index. So here the first row and the first column that is the 0th row and 0th column. So the cells are given in one based index. But when we write the code, we will consider it as 0th index. So the first row and first column. So this cell. So we need to change this cell as 1. Then we will block the second row and the first column. So the second row and the first column. So we are going to block this with water. So what we are trying to do here is that since we are starting from day 2, Till day 2, we are blocking all the cells. So we know on the 8th day, the 8th cell will be 1. So here we are assuming that we are on day 2. And we came across all the days before. Right? So we are blocking the previous days. Then we will be initializing a stack. And we are going to add a cell which is containing 0 in my top row. So the reason why we need to check is there any zero on the top row or not? In the question, it says that we need to start from top row, right? So in order to walk, we need to have zero. If there is water, we cannot walk. 
that means we cannot go further so in this particular example in the top row this particular cell is zero so we are going to append this row and column in my stack that is zero and one so we are going to perform bfs on this one right then we need to pop this row and column from the stack so here r will be zero and c will be one so then we need to check whether a row is the bottom row or not so here row is zero this is not a bottom row so we need to move further also we will be having a visited set we need to check whether we have this row and column in my visited set or not here it is not present so we will add this row and column to the visited set then we need to do bfs on this cell that is zero row and first column on this particular cell right so we need to check is there any neighbor cells having zero or not so here on the left side it is one and the top we can't go on the right we can't go further it will be out of bound but if we check the bottom we can go there is zero so we need to append this row and column to the stack that is one and one so now we need to pop the next row and column from the stack that is one and one right so now we need to check whether the row is the bottom row or not yes it is a bottom row right we can just return true we don't have to do anything further we just return true and based on this boolean value we have to move our left and right pointers in the binary search right so we know it we have got true that is we can reach the bottom row on the second day. Since we assumed the second day as my last day, we don't have to check zero and one. We need to check the days in future. So we will be having a result variable. Since it is true, I will initialize the result variable with middle value that is two. And we will move our left pointer by mid plus one. So our left pointer becomes three right so middle plus one is going to be three so now we are going to check the future days whether we can find a last day in the future days or not so in this example two is the last day that we can reach the bottom row so we will be returning two as my answer that's all the logicals now we will see the code before we code if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel please like and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys so initially left and right pointer will be pointing to one on the last day respectively. Then we will initialize the result variable as negative one at the start, which means if we can't reach the bottom row from the any days given, we need to return negative one. So here I will be writing a loop. I will run the loop until the left pointer is less than or equal to right. Then we will calculate the middle pointer using the left and right, where the middle pointer will be the last day, right? Then we need to check whether the picked middle value is my last day or not. If it is true, we will make the middle value as my result and we will move our left pointer, else we will move our right pointer. Then finally, we will return the result. So now we will see the is possible function. So inside the is possible function, initially we are going to create the 2D matrix where I will initialize with zero, n and mr rows and columns, right? Then we need to mark all the cells till the middle day as one which means we came across those days so we are initializing those days as one then we will create a visited set then we will be creating a stack then we will check if there is any cell in the top row is zero or not if we have a cell that is containing zero we need to append those indices to the stack then we will write a while loop we will run the while loop until the stack is empty. We will pop the row and column from the stack. Then we need to check whether the current row is my bottom row or not. If it is true, the assumption of the middle value as my last day is true. If it is not true, we will just continue further where we will check whether the current row and column is in my visited set or not. If it is not in visited, we just have to append that in my visited set. Then we will try to check the neighbors of the current cell. 
if there is a neighbor containing zero, we will append that neighbor's row and column to the stack. So we will run the loop until the stack is empty. If the picked middle value is not my last day, we will return false. Right? That's all the code is. Now we will run the code. So the time complexity will be n into m into log n, where n and m are rows and columns, and log n is the binary search that we are doing, right? And space complexity will be order of n into m. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. And also check out my previous videos. Keep supporting. Happy learning. Cheers, guys.